day, there was an interesting little report that came out over on Reddit, and it was something that kind of stirred up a little discussion within the community, and you might have already seen some YouTubers talk about this. I deliberately did not put anything up on that day because I think it came out on Thursday, and we were expecting a little blog post update on Friday, and so I was kind of holding out hope that we'd get this actually addressed in that update from Sledgehammer, but to this point in time, we obviously don't have anything to talk about in relation to an official statement on this, but that deals with a little bit of variance in World War II in the sense of they're actually missing. Now, this is something that I'm gonna preface this by saying that honestly, it makes sense to me that this is now coming out because I haven't seen any of these things, if any variants at all, in the supply drop system for as long as I can remember, which always kind of struck me as weird that I didn't have some weapon variants, but whenever I thought about it, I didn't really pinpoint why, and that's because, well, they're completely missing. So the report starts out by somebody over on Reddit by the name of LeadR95, talking about how he had an issue with supply drops and he actually contacted Activision's support team to see if this was something in which there was any issue going on as to why he wasn't getting any. And the outcome is that some of these weapons and weapon variants, if you have any of them, well, you're some of the lucky few because they are now more rare than heroic weapon variants in all the entire supply drop loot system because they've been removed. At some point in time, probably around the resistance event, that's when I've been hearing, but around that point in time is when these weapons were actually removed from the supply drop system. So if you have any of the ones that are listed below, once again, you probably got them earlier on in the lifespan of World War II, but you can't get them at this point in time. So of those listed are the Bar M1928, Lewis, Bren, Combat Shotgun, the M30 Luftwaffe Shotgun, the Car 98K, the P08, the 1911, and the Carabin. These are all the weapons that are listed right now as to not be available for either all variants or some variants. So kind of break that down a little bit further. Right now, the only ones available for the bar are the Old Captain, which is a special order that was available last week in Major Howard's office. The only ones available for the M1928, the Thompson, were the Wilco, which is a social rank five reward, and then the Handler, which was a special order, I believe, two weeks ago now at this point in time. Then for the Lewis, the only one available is the Landship, which is a social rank 11 reward. The Bren doesn't have any exceptions. The Combat Shotgun, only the Disruptor is available in supply drops at the very moment, but every other one, off limits. The M30 Luftwaffe Drilling, that actually has no exceptions once again. None of those variants are available at the moment unless you end up getting them out of, I believe, collections. The Car 98K, the only exception for that is the Fallen, which is a max prestige for Mountain Division reward. Then you can also get the Nightmare 2 for the Social Rank 15, and the Torpedo, which is this current week special order that might be switching out sometime soon, depending on when you end up watching this video. But then, as for the P08, there's no exceptions for that. The M1911, the only thing is the Jupiter, which is available in collections and then the carbon the thing that sucks about this is the brand new patriot variation which is awesome if you guys haven't seen the video that i put up talking about all of the hidden variants in world war ii this thing was sick and absolutely nobody has this activision themselves don't even know what's happening with it now the really unfortunate part is this isn't anything that's just community speculation Activision support actually ended up giving an official list of these weapons to lead R or leader 95 to which once again This is something that they list off the bar m30 combat shotgun car 98 m1928 Lewis Bren right there in that email and that is something that is kind of a bummer because well That's the official look at it That's something that gives us a solid statement from a verified source within the call of duty world and therefore this seemingly is final Right now, it's not understood if these will be put back into the supply drop system, if they'll be available in the loot pool once again at some point in time. Honestly, I think that'd be cool, but right now there's a new rumor going along as to why this is actually happening, why this was taken out of the supply drop loot and why these weapons are not available anywhere else. Because actually one thing that is interesting is if you take a look at some of these weapons, you'll notice that there's actually a different description on how you can end up getting these. Some weapons, if you take a look at the variant listing, you'll see the description of unlock weapon variants by opening supply drops and completing collections. But on others, as for the ones that are listed now, they end up saying unlock weapon variants by completing orders, prestiging divisions, and reaching new social ranks. Now the thing that gets interesting about this is this might actually be 
a very under the radar way to address this whole situation. And the fact that once again, these weapon variants used to be in the supply drop pool, but for whatever reason, whether timed content or completely taken out for future planning, this was something that might actually justify that in a sense, because it's the very, very fine print that you have to read in which says they're available elsewhere and not in supply drops. We see that breakup and division of weapons in supply drops and collections, but then also only as division prestige rewards, social rank rewards, and then order rewards as well. Which to me is kind of deceiving and unfortunate because some people may very well look forward to getting some different variant that they actually can't get. So say you wanted to get something of one of those variants, whether it be the 1911, the Bar, the Lewis, the Bren, the Carnet AK, whatever the weapon is, some people might be inclined to try and grind out supply drops. And though I can only ever say on my own that I'm not a fan of buying supply drops and I don't ever really plan on doing it, even if a ton of people share that same ideology as me, we're still in the very vast minority to get that message across because there are tens of thousands of players that play Call of Duty every day and that are so far removed from the idea of watching YouTube commentators, YouTube creators on the game, that they may never even really consider it. They might just think, well, hey, I got 20 extra bucks, so I'll buy some COD points, try and get some supply drop luck and get me that variant that I like. But little do they know, they might not ever even have the chance to get that, even if they do pay for COD points. So in that sense, I absolutely hate how this is laid out, but on the flip side, it's kind of nice because while we let off with the bad, what is nice is the fact that you don't have to try and get these sort of things and it might lay out a nice little schedule of different variants that we end up seeing in the future for those weapons. And one thing that's in particular about those weapons is they're rather popular among players. The bar was considered for ages and may very well still be considered one of the best weapons in the game. The Car 98K is the only sniper that I end up seeing. Shotguns might not be on the forefront of popularity popularity, but then there's weapons like the 1911, which have some very sick variants, which I'd love to be able to just earn regularly and not have to either grind out supply drops and orders and contracts for supply drops to get those for days and weeks on end or sink money into it. So it's nice that some of these are being reserved and ones that people will actually enjoy that are being reserved for ways that you can organically get them. So right now we've seen once again, the bar old captain, the M1928 handler and the car 98 K torpedo as of the most most recent ones in the weekly orders from Major Howard that give you, simply just for playing the game, a brand new variant for that weapon. This might be the very start and basis of a new system going forward that allows us to get all of these on rotation or new weapon variants that were added in altogether. Some people actually thought that that was something that happened in which we are going to get new variants, which very well may happen, but it does more so fall in line now with this new information that we have now about these variants that are completely excluded from the supply drop loot and content. So that's where I kind of am at. I'm a little bit split on how I think I am perceiving this whole situation because yes, it absolutely sucks that some of these were available for some point in time and there's absolutely no real communication about this. And that's one thing that honestly I think is the biggest issue is that there's not anything to really clearly define this to everybody. It is something that is laid out, yes, but again, very, very fine print. You have to go only to those weapons that are excluded from the supply drop loot to see that it actually says to get them in orders, social ranks, and then division prestige rewards as well. You have to go to those to only see those. So I think the biggest issue lies is not really all that much transparency. I'd love to get an official statement from Sledgehammer, whether that be in the weekly blog, whether that be in something of a dedicated tweet or whatever it may be, I would like some communication here because while it seems like Activision support spilled the beans on these weapons that are no longer in the supply drop loot and contents for the items that you can end up getting, there's still a little bit of confusion over the reasoning as to why. So as long as people can end up going in and knowing that they won't have the option to get a bar variant, to get a car 98k variant, whatever it may be, I think that I'd be more okay with because right now, personally, I think it comes down to the fact that there are people out there grinding for a weapon variant that they may never get and maybe even at the very worst spending money for a chance to get some something that is statistically impossible to get. So that said, that's where I want to turn it over to you guys, because I want to get your thoughts and feedback on the situation. I think it's something that is really up in the air, that it has the potential to make a future system really cool for how we can unlock things. And it allows players to get more variants that they probably want for weapons they probably use. And I think honestly, in that sense, to be able to give content in an organic
organic way to players, that is a great way and a great future for World War II that I really do enjoy. But again, the problem I have is there's not really all that much transparency and there's not all that much that clearly defines that. So I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you hoping for some sort of address from Sledgehammer talking about this? Are you guys hoping that maybe we end up seeing all variants available at some point in time in orders? Do you want to see everything put back into the supply drop content and loot pool? Whatever it may be, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below because this is a really interesting scenario that has potential but right now is almost dangerous. So. Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Hopefully this was insightful, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss anything regarding Call of Duty World War II. Updates, news, information, best class setups, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel, so if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm trying to get more active over there as well. So that link is also in the description below if you guys want to toss a follow. So all that said and out of the way, hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.